So can this 21 and a half inch 2013 iMac with eight gigs of RAM do 4K video editing today in 2022? We're gonna find out. Welcome back to the channel. So if you watch my channel, you know I've done a couple videos on the 2013 iMac I have over here. And this is basic, it's more or less the base model. So it's gonna have eight gigs of RAM. It does have an SSD in it, which is upgraded. 256 gig SSD drive, and that's about it. But it is the late 21 and a half inch, the late, uh, what is it? It's i5, late 2013, 21 and a half inch i5, 2.7. Uh, mega, you know, gigahertz, I'm sorry. And then this is the one that comes, just to give you the, kind of all the specs of this computer, this comes with the, let me see if I can find it here, the Eris Pro 5200, so it's not even like kind of the top graphics card of that period, it's kind of the standard graphics card. So the Eris Pro 5200, I guess it's got 1.5 gigabytes of RAM on it, so VRAM. So that's what that, that this is running right now. 2013, we're in 2022 nine years old. So can this do 4K video editing? I'm just gonna show you a quick example of what this is gonna be like. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna video edit and where I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna show you the time it takes to render it. And we're gonna show you exactly can this actually handle that. A um, Couple things to note is I am gonna go ahead and you know I'm gonna time that exactly to tell you how long it takes for the rendering. But I'm also gonna show you the timeline. Now, keep in mind that when you're watching this, I'm using iMovie and you're gonna might be using Final Cut Pro or Adobe, you know, you know, Adobe products and things like that, Premiere, and those are all gonna be different. You might have a different timeline, you might have a whole bunch of different edits on it, you may have different transitions. That doesn't really matter. I'm not showing you exactly what you're gonna do, I'm just showing you the way I did it and exactly how long it takes. And if you're running a YouTube channel, you can definitely you know, use this for video editing. I'm gonna show you here in a second. Let's get into it, I'm gonna show you the video I'm creating and then we'll go from there, I'm gonna share my screen. All right, just really quickly, if you look at my screen here, uh, here's the 4K editing over here. So the videos that I'm gonna actually be using in this, I'm gonna so go ahead and say get info. Just wanna go ahead and pull this over here. So these are down here. They're 4K 3840 by 2160. They're H.264. You know, obviously they're all different sizes as far as the time limit, but those are what the files are. So they're not, they're not easy files for a 2013 to deal with, but you'll probably be surprised. So. What I did is I dragged a bunch of these into my iMovie, just using straight iMovie, not even Final Cut Pro, and I'm not doing any type of you know pre-rendering or anything like that. I just dragged them right into over here, my project media, right from the camera. And you can see here I have a whole bunch of clips. Here's the timeline I ran. Again, yours is gonna be totally different, so this is example purposes only. You can only weigh this for what you're gonna do. Obviously take it with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, though, I have a number of videos in here. I have a number of, you know, dual 4K, you know, a couple of 4K uh, videos on top of the, the bottom layer here. So dual 4K. I also put in a bunch of just titles. You can see them in here throughout. I put in like four, four to five transitions. Um, and you'll see a couple of them in here. So I have put all this stuff in here. You have different, you know, I have sound up here and sound down here. So a couple different sound files. All that stuff's combined in this, this, this is kind of how I do a YouTube video. Now this one's only four minutes, so I think typically eight minutes is like the average now, but four minutes so you can get the idea of how long this clip is. And then just looking at the scrolling, so does this, can you even scroll the timeline on this old, old 2013, right? 21 and a half inch iMac, check a look at this. I mean, it doesn't stutter at all, that's the amazing thing. So I can go through and look at this. I mean, it's basically scrolling perfectly, it doesn't stutter on frames, it doesn't drop any frames. I mean, every once in a while you might have a little problem with the transition, but more or less I can go through this as fast as I want and it's not really gonna cause any problems. So the, that is, the scrubbing works perfect on 4K H.264, which is crazy. So what I'm gonna do is, I hear, here's how the whole thing lays out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back in a second, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use here. So to render this, I'm gonna use 4K quality high and then compresses better quality. So I'm not even gonna go to the lowest, which is faster. I'm gonna go to better quality there and it's gonna render there, and then I'm gonna come back here and just show you how long it took, and then it, we'll, we'll see. You can see that it can scrub it, but how long does it take to render? Is it gonna cost you a ton of time? All right, so that four minute video took six minutes and 52 seconds. That's pretty incredible. So, for, for you know, obviously for an eight minute video, which is probably typical of YouTube, you're probably only talking, what is that, 13 minutes or something? So 14 minutes, 13 something. So for an eight minute video. So it's not even double, it's not even double the time. So five wouldn't even be 10 minutes, it's more like nine or eight minutes. 
that's what you're dealing with. And this is a 2013. Granted, it has an updated hard drive. It's an SSD that's also super required. If you didn't have that SSD, if you had like a spinning drive or even maybe a fusion drive, it's not gonna be nearly as fast. That's number one, get the SSD. That's, that's a huge factor if you're buying this. Second thing, it's only got eight gigs of RAM. You can buy these with 16 and stuff, and it's gonna make a huge difference, probably even more when people open them up and put RAM in there. So that's a huge difference as well. But I only, I'm only using eight gigs of RAM on this as well. And I got this for 148 bucks. Check out that video, you'll see it. Um, maybe I'll have it in the, the description down there um, so you guys can see the video description. Um, so I just wanted to show people, you know, you don't need to get the best and biggest. You don't need to have a huge budget when you're dealing with Mac products just to get into YouTube video editing. I started on a system that was a 2000 2011, a couple years ago. This is a 2013. I'm gonna give this to my um, sister's kid, so this is gonna go away eventually. I have a 2017 over there that, that I do almost all my editing on. So I don't even use the M1, even though I have one for my video editing right now, because I don't even need it. it. This works perfect. So does the 2017. And I just wanna show people, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get into Apple. They just work really well. As long as you get that SSD and you get the you know, RAM at least eight gigs, four gigs won't work, and then you get you know at least you know, IMAX tend to have at least a semi-decent graphics card that's in there and it helps with the edit. So six minutes and 52 seconds on a four minute render. And uh, it's pretty amazing what it can do there. I just, I'm actually shocked by it myself. What can you do? So hope you guys like these videos. This is what this is all about. It's just teaching you, can you buy this thing and still use it? Obviously the OS is upgradable only to a certain point unless you put on something, you know, basically that can make it go up further than there. It's kind of a hack, but you can do that as well. Without further ado, we'll end the video. We'll talk to you next week, or maybe in a couple of days. Peace.